Welcome to the EOSTAR Navigation Primer. This is an introductory video to help new users understand the different ways to move around and interact with EOSTAR. When you first start EOSTAR, you will see this screen. While the buttons on the starting screen can be utilized, EOSTAR is designed as a drop-down menu-driven system. It would be inefficient to return to the main screen each time you wanted to go to, into a new area of EOSTAR. So you'll notice that there is a list of options along the top of the screen that will allow you to access the areas you need without returning to the start page. Click to see the drop-down menu and navigate to the option you are looking for. You are able to navigate to all parts of the program using these drop-down menus. For quick access to the areas of EOSTAR that you have already visited this session, you can use the Back and Go To buttons. Back will take you to the screen you were last on. Clicking back a second time will send you to the screen you were just on. So it will, it will essentially toggle between those two screens. If you want to access a page that you were recently on, but is not your last screen, you can use the Go To button. It will list all of the screens you visited since you've logged on, and you can select the one you want to navigate to. Of course, you can always use the menus along the top to navigate there as well. Now let's take a look at hyperlinks, checkboxes, and other buttons you'll encounter while using EOSTAR. Hyperlinks generally refer to the blue underlined clickable text. In some cases, these will perform a function defined by the words in the link. The other hyperlinks you will see will bring you to a particular record or transaction. Checkboxes are seen throughout EOSTAR. A checkbox on a record will indicate that the attribute is true, which means that an unchecked box indicates that it is false. We also use checkboxes as a selection tool in some screens. We'll see more on that in a later session. Radio buttons are the little round selectors, and in general are used when you can choose one of several available options so clicking on a radio button will clear the other options.